Today is November 27. This is a big piece of poplar or tulip wood. It's a nine foot long and I try to make like six foot four, six foot five piece, close piece from it and uh, probably will be left for the nice coffee table. It's got diameter on the one end like 37 inches and uh, another end like 32 inches. So I will put it in a on a dolly and bring it to the shop and we'll see what happened. Thank you. Okay, it took me three hours to load it on a dolly, take a bark off, and bring it in a shop. Next step, it will be like probably between three and five hours time, take me to mount it on a lathe. It will be some process. And and it's it will go with the big end to the face plate. So we'll see what happened. Okay, piece ready to spin and I start spinning it. It's weight probably a little bit over the tone. So I will show you different stages in the next few little movies. different sharpening and work very well. Next day uh, I change the gouge. I remove lots of wood with the Doug Thompson, I use it like a spindle gouge, but it's a, it's a roughing tool, but I little bit resharpened it and use it. It's helped me remove a lot, lots of wood very fast. This is what I use it. Some people was worried it's never get around. It's already around and I can use the regular gouge and I show you. Shaving coming from this gouge, probably around one inch, one by eight thick. And it's removing pretty fast wood too. So I now start to shape it. And when I will shape it, I will make a next segment. Thank you.
Okay, next day, and I start hollowing a piece. I roughly shape it. It's not final shape. It will be much more work, but I start hollowing it. Hollowing going on through this three and a half inch hole with my booting bar. What? I mean, it's a solid, almost 10 foot, not almost, it's a 10 foot solid, one three quarter by one three quarter piece of metal with the cutters. I got a few different cutters. And uh, people ask me sometimes if I, if I get a catch and will be true around the shop. I'm answering no, because I work with this booting bar to design it in a way to be not dangerous. And I never have a catch, and I hope never will. Little catch, if I got my tip on a booting bar designed in a way it can limit it how much it can catch. It's scraper sticking very little from the main head. So it's even the catch happened in very fast spinning normally. Now, in a case something wrong happened with me or something, my V-bell pulley, they very, they are not tight. They spin. And if something happened by the booting bar, I can stop it very easy. Just apply pressure on the booting bar. So this is for people who ask me if I get catch. No. And now I show you how it's spinning. you can see this is hollowing pretty fast this is for less than one minute I got so much shaving cut it out so I believe for deep hollowing scraping it's just one best way to do this not a cutting because when you cut inside this is where you can get a real serious, real serious catch. Okay, now, now it's probably 20, 22 inch deep and I got long way to go. So will be next video. See you later. Thank you. After a few weeks break, I just finished hollowing this piece. It's finally it's 31 inch, around 31 inch in diameter, little more, and the uh, six foot four, six foot five. I don't know yet. I will measure when I when it will be stand up. And it's like you see, it's a hollow to the bottom. It's from five eight to on the bottom one inch thick and it's going to stay for one and a half year till it will be dry. I left this uh, around belt from the 
it's, it will be made some details from it, or I will be cut it off later. We'll see how it's becoming the final finals about this. So 